Hey y'all, Megan here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a table in Canva. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well if I open up a design and look under elements for like a table or a grid, something will pop up. Unfortunately, as of right now, that is not the way Canva works. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create a table a couple of different ways. So if you like this tutorial, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button below, um, and leave any comments, questions, suggestions, things like that in the comment box for me. Um, also, before we get started with today's tutorial, this does not require you to have a Canva Pro account. However, if you do wanna take your Canva designs to the next level and start making money with those, um, I do recommend getting Canva Pro. So if you would like to try that out 30 days for free, make sure you check the link in the description box below as I do have a free 30 day trial for Canva as well as a couple other useful things um, that I think you guys can definitely take advantage of. So make sure to check that out. But with all that being said, I will show you guys how to create a table. Um, so I will link all the videos in the description box below. Um, I have created a couple of different tutorials on my channel that involve making tables of some sort. So I will put those in the description box if you want to take a look at those um, and then come back to this one. Or you can watch this one and watch those. Um, but we're just going to create a design. So let's say you wanted to create some kind of like planner page. Um, I will link the daily planner page video not the daily planner, the weekly pan blah, weekly planner video up here somewhere. So make sure to take a look at that. But we're just gonna go over here to create a design. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do custom size. So I'm just gonna click on eight and a half by 11 because it's under my recent tab right here. If it's not under recent for you, all you'll need to do is change your pixels to inches and type in eight and a half by 11 and create new design. So once we hit create new design, it's going to bring up a completely blank sheet of paper. Um, so there are, like I said, a couple different ways you can go about creating a table for your Canva design. The first one is to go under here under search templates and type in calendar. When you type in calendar, there's going to be a ton of different options that show up right here. Um, let's see. So I'm trying to find a good one. Let's see grid maybe or a table of some sort. Um, okay. So like this one, here's a debt snowball worksheet. This is actually a really simple one. Um, and I can show you guys how to create something like this from scratch. But for this video, we're just going to look at this. So this is actually a nice little debt snowball worksheet um, page right here. And if you click on it and zoom in, you'll be able to see that these are just lines. So if I tap this one, I can move it wherever I want to move it. It's just a bunch of lines. So you can always find a template. And if you wanted to create, I don't know, daily water intake chart. So you could change this around and type in the seven days of the week. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all that stuff and change this around. You can kind of create your own. So like I'll show you, let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, so we can delete all of these lines right here. So if you wanna delete some of the lines, all you need to do is highlight the line you wanna delete and hit delete. And it's the same if you wanna do the top or bottom one, delete, I'm gonna undo that. Um, and then I'm actually gonna delete this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. We can delete these two guys and we can change, um, you can change the length of these lines. So by just, um, moving your cursor over this little circle, 
and then dragging it left or right. You can also make it diagonal if you want to, but we're just gonna keep it straight. Um, so yeah, you can change this around. You can realign these lines to make it fit. So I'm gonna move this one over and you can tidy these up. I know I'm going through this like super fast. Um, I'm not gonna go over all this in this video because in some of the other videos in my description box, I have gone over the tidy up feature. Um, but yeah, like you can change it around from here and um, you can add some cute clip art. So you can do like a water bottle. You can add like a cute little water bottle and you can make it more transparent and then you can move it behind everything and there's that so that's the first way to do it the first way to make a table is to just find a template that's got a table in it and you can well with this one you can make it your own but with all of the other ones, um, it might be a little more complicated. So I'm going to highlight everything on here and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a table like this from scratch. So we're gonna delete that. So something really cool that I learned about Canva kind of recently is how to add a line. So of course you can go over here to elements and type in line and you can choose this one and you can make it really thick or really thin. You can change the color to green or just find some kind of color you like. Or an easier way to do it, all you need to do is hit L on your keyboard. You don't have to do shift or command or anything. You just L and there we go. Now we've got two lines. And then, like I said, you can, once you hit L on your keyboard and a line pops up, you can change the weight of it. I like to make my lines really skinny. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna make a chart. So I like to keep my elements within these like pink, within this pink rectangle or the pink lines. So I'm just gonna drag this out like I did a few minutes ago until it hits the other line. So now I am going to hit L on my keyboard again. I'm going to change the line weight to one and I'm going to turn it around so that it's straight up and down so that it's vertical. So all you need to do is put your cursor over this little spinny thing and change it until it says 90 degrees. Um, don't think there's like a rotate option on here, but if there is, let me know because I can update this. Um, but yeah, you're just going to play around with it. And we're going to duplicate this line instead of doing, instead of hitting L and flipping it around again. So we're going to highlight this and you can either hit Command D if you're on a Mac, Control D if you're on a Windows PC, or you can hit the duplicate button up here but I'm just gonna hit Command D because I'm used to doing that. And we're just gonna drag this bad boy over. And now we've got like the beginning of a chart. Um, so now at this point you can add a couple different lines and I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you guys the tidy up feature because that is pretty useful. So as you can see, these lines are not not really in order. So if you want the same space between each lines instead of like this space being big and this one being small, um, you can actually highlight all of these vertical lines and hit tidy up. So left click on your mouse in this white area and drag this blue box across the lines that you want tidied up. And once they're highlighted, you'll go over here to position and tidy up. And now they're evenly spaced out. Um, so from here, you can duplicate this top line and then 
add text to these little areas and then if you wanted to you could just create more lines so I can like duplicate these and duplicate them again actually okay and you can do the same thing um, with tidying up these horizontal lines so um, you can highlight these just make sure you don't if you're wanting to only tidy up these vertical I'm sorry the horizontal lines don't select any of the vertical lines because this is what happens so position tidy up it's going to look really funny if you accidentally include some of the vertical lines so just do the horizontal lines and then position tidy up and ta-da now we have ourselves a little table you can make this you can add as many lines as you want to as many columns as many rows as you want to um, but if you kind of want to make one from scratch instead of using the templates that's how you would do that um, there's also another way so I've noticed for some printables um, and then the printable in like um, my weekly planner you can just use squares so another shortcut that I learned in Canva recently after being on here 24 7 is to tap R on your keyboard and when you tap R a big rectangle is gonna pop up but you can change it into a square so we can do 6.8 by 6.8 inches and now it's a square so we can change it and now we've got this so if you want to make something let's do let's do like seven across so i don't know why it's not staying like a square anyways so we're going to make seven of these blocks across so we can do command d or the duplicate button up here and then instead of duplicating each one and having to drag it out and then another one and drag it out, um, you can actually duplicate all three of these. So if you left click and drag your mouse over these three boxes, you can hit Command D or the duplicate button and it's going to duplicate all those for you so you don't have to keep doing them one by one. And we're going to duplicate the last one and we're going to spread this out a little bit and we're going to use the tidy up feature right here and now we've got seven little boxes across so now you can group them together um so i'm going to show you how i did that so highlight these boxes and you can either hit group up here or if you're on a mac you can hit command g which is what i just did or control g if you're on a windows computer or a pc whatever you want to call it and now we can duplicate these lines so duplicate we're going to duplicate it again and now we're going to tidy up these lines so that they have the same spacing between them so i highlighted all of these boxes and i've now tidied up and we have ourselves a grid so now we can add a text box you can actually hit t on your keyboard and a text box comes up or you can just go to text and pick something so i'm going to go up here and put in since we're on the topic of finance well not really but when I used the template, it was about finance. Let's see. So monthly savings challenge. I know this is like way more boxes than 30, um, but you can make it so that it's like six by five or five by six and create yourself like a monthly savings challenge or something cute like that. I know this isn't exactly a table, but um, I mean, it kind of serves the same purpose as far as like having a checklist of some sort or something. So um, 
You can use a template to create tables. You can create a table from scratch using, um, using lines, or you can create a table from scratch using boxes. So those are the three ways that you can create tables in Canva to use for your designs. Um, if you have any questions about the shortcuts that I used or about anything that I did in this video, um, make sure to comment below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Um, make sure to check out the videos in my description box because I have used tables in those. Um, so I think that would be helpful for you if you have any questions or would just like to learn more about it. But I am going to leave you guys with that today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and stay tuned because I will be back soon.